Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, in yesterday's video, we created this animated background here. As you can see, it's kind of growing, giving you the effect of flying through space. We had a comment. Somebody said they're having trouble with it on tablet and mobile. It's not converting. That's my fault. I mentioned as I was building it that you could adjust certain settings, but I didn't show you. So today we're going to go over the responsive settings to make this fully responsive. So if I hit my little purple button here, here it is on desktop screen. If I go to tablet screen, there it is on tablet. And as you can see, it's still animating in the background there nicely. We fit everything on there. And on mobile, we've got this. Now, if you look closely, you can still it's, see it's still animating in the background there. Let's go back to desktop. Okay, let me just undo what I did and I'll show you exactly how to make this responsive. Okay, well, I've taken away everything I've done there. So this is where we left off yesterday. Have a look at that video if you want to figure out how to do this really easy. Now, if I look at tablet mode on this, we've got a big gap at the bottom there. And we can only see part of our call to action there. If I look at it on mobile, it should be even worse. Here we can see our image is animating but our call to action is way down here, big gap. Okay, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna match the image height with our section height. So let's go back to desktop. We'll start on desktop version. I'm gonna go into the image itself. Because we've moved it and it's actually growing, you may have trouble getting to it. If so, make sure your purple button's expanded. Go over to the little icon left-hand side there, wireframe view. We can get in on back end. There's our image. I'm going to go in there. Once you're in there, you can flip back whichever view you want. I'm going to go over to my design. We made our section 90 viewable height, so 90 height of the screen. Let's do the same for our image here. Down to design, sizing. Now let's close these up because these would be closed initially. This is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark, Riding within a module, you see some little icons up here. Go to the thing you want to adjust, in my case, the height here. If there's a little mobile phone type icon, you can click on it and make different versions for tablet and mobile there. So it's going to be 90 VH on desktop. On tablet, I'm going to say 40, perhaps 40 viewable height. I'll try that. We may want to adjust it. 40. It's put in pics. So I'm going to put VH. You want to look at the roundness of the planets to make sure it's going to work. That's okay. Of course, we'll have to adjust our modules to fit there. And on mobile, I think I've used 30 VH. So make sure you click on the mobile thing. 30 VH. That's great, but we still can't really see any of our call to action there. So we need to make sure that we've matched our image height to our section height. Let's save this, the image. We'll go back in to the blue little tab there. And design wise, I want to make sure that we match our image. So not spacing, I want to go down to sizing. I've gone to design, sizing. Here's our height, desktop. Let's go to tablet. I think we said 40 VH on tablet. As you can see, that's actually working now on tablet. And on the phone, I think we said 30, didn't we? That's better. But as you can see, there's just too much information there. I could make that image wider or deeper, but of course those planets wouldn't be circular anymore. Another option would be with your image, you could have a square image for tablet and mobile, different aspects, and a wide image for desktop. But my solution to this, I think I'm just going to take a lot of this writing away. and I may adjust the size of that in the call to action. So now we've matched the image in the section. Let's work on the call to action. Let's save the changes here. It's going to go back to desktop mode and let's go into the call to action. 
Don't worry about that corner. That will resolve itself once we save this. I'm in the call to action here. So we're going to do the same things. I want to take some of that body text away, but just on mobile. So again, roll over. Make sure you've got a little phone icon up. Different values for tablet and mobile. So we've got that on desktop. We've got this on tablet, which is almost there. I might adjust this heading a little bit and take it down in size just for tablet. So just click on the little paint brush associated with it there. That'll take you straight to it. Text size, again, make sure you're on tablet version. And if that's not there, just click on it to open it. Make sure you're on tablet. Take it down to whatever works for you. That gives it a little more breathing space just on tablet. Let's take a look at the mobile now. And like I say, yeah, there's just too much information there. So what I'm going to go back do is go back to my content tab here. Under the text right here. We roll down, there's the text. We can do exactly the same thing. Hit the little icon. Make sure you're on mobile version mode. And you can select and leave as much as it or as little of it as you want there by selecting it. And just deleting it. Great. So we got that on mobile. That works for me. Just save that. Oh, on tablet, we've got that. And on desktop, we've got that, which works absolutely perfectly. So there you go, guys. Let's save this, make sure it's all going to work on the front end. That's how to make it responsive with a few easy adjustments there. And you can apply that to any sections for compatibility across devices there. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have issues with your background image here aspect wise, just take the 90VH away from the actual image on desktop and just do it custom settings on tablet and mobile. You should find it pretty easy to figure out. So I hope that sorted that out for you. Like I say, that's a beautiful thing to have on your site. And now it's fully responsive. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.